Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. Say, that's an interesting tattoo on your hand. Saw a lot of that in the Navy, but nothing quite like yours. Keep your eye out for Martin. I need him back here if we're going to pull this off. High Overseer Campbell tricked and bullied his way into power. The man is completely corrupt. The City Watch and the Overseers can't stand each other. The military doesn't mix well with a bunch of religious fanatics. You might be able to use that. Nervous? I would be. Tonight is the beginning of a new life for you. But you're killing for a just endeavor, remember that. High Overseer Campbell is a bastard, and we've got to find Emily. The Overseers are a strange bunch, completely obsessed with the Seven Strictures and hunting down heresy. I don't know if I believe in all that witchcraft bunk, but I saw some odd things at sea. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. What can I do for you? When you want to set out, just give the word.
Ready to go? Just give the signal. Trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. You just take your pick. If you decide to go up Clavering, don't let the guards spot you. Watch out for the Bottle Street thugs if you take to the alleys. Mean bastards. I'll be here when you come back. Good luck, Corvo. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep them. All the others down in the sickness. Hey! What is it? I think that last one was moving. <coughs> what? Yeah, the little one. <laughs> Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. <clears throat> well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. Oh, Barrow's Barbershop and Surgery. Get away. The Duke and Dancer Ale House. Merritt's Printing Firm. Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium. And the Smoke Street Dice Hall. Coming. Sorry, I can't help you. I don't know this area well. I'm only out because I was helping an older acquaintance get home. 
Some strangers gave us directions and fed us earlier. People are good at their center. Attention Dunwall citizens, this is a special announcement from our Honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest the and dead. potentially beyond. We'll make it three more in addition, months. in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Attention, Dunwall citizens. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch. Granny Grant. are sad today. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Garbage, 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 all of it. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Yes, I would, indeed. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But 
What a bother. Use the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Mmm, if I was hungry, I'd want to eat that. Yes! Let us in, Granny! I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. I think... We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid, either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. The knives go on the We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a minute. Let's get a drink. I'm dry as an overseer's prey. She's been digging for 80 years. I think the Must have found something. Today. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just Bottle Street rules. Oh, no. That's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage is pretty good. Rinse too, Granny. I think the little birdies are sad today. Open the damn door. Open up! Rinse too, Granny! Dunwall citizens, this is a special announcement from our honorable Rinse Lord two, Regent. Granny. This is the Lord Regent. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Open Abbey the of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Rent due, Granny. <coughs> Somebody, get over here! Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. Barrow's Barbershop and Surgery, the Duke and Dancer Ale House, Merritt's Printing Firm, Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium, and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. I think the little birdies are sad today. 
Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I told you the knives go on the left. They go on the left. She never I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. not what we heard. It was just a cold. Are you sure? Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street and to the void with you. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach it to your pockets and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspect... Cross the line and you'll have your throat cut. Get back now or lose an ear. I'm trapped! I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear.
crying about that dice game. I don't need shit from you. Attention watchmen, this district is now considered a highly infected area. Residents are to be escorted to adjacent neighborhoods or delivered for immediate deportation to the flooded district. Remain in position until qualified personnel have completed the removal of infected bodies.
Hans dies. Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Meyer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. What will I do now?
goddamn it. Don't find some of them. Well, then you gotta run. Let me know if you want to take my patrol. Find you.
Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? In size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power.